forgotten something? I think it's you two that's forgotten something. Like telling me you're expecting a baby. Hey. Well, it sounds like old Coronation Street knows about me. How? <sighs> my dad. He's got to be. Or is this from him, Ashley? Well, that's what Mrs Duckworth told me. Oh, strangling. Me? No, we told him. Yeah, I know, but... Well, it had to come out sooner or later. Not like this. Not from him. So you're saying it's true? Well, why don't you tell me? Well, we would have told you. It's just... Well, we didn't really want anyone else to know yet. That's all. Except your Mega Mouse dad couldn't keep his gob shut. Nick. No, I mean it, Leanne. It's our news. Who the hell does he think he... She has to me, too. Hiya. Hi, morning, Leanne. Hiya. Right, I better go. I'm going to be late for work. See you All right, well, you yeah. take care. See ya. I'll put kettle on. Have you all been talking about me, then? Really? Hey? Is that why she's just rushed off out? No. Why are you asking us that? Oh, well, I take it you wasn't in the Rovers last night when my dad was mopping off, then? No. What do you mean? Well, I may as well tell you, seeing as the rest of Weatherfield will know by now. Me and Nick, we're expecting a baby. A baby? Oh, that's wonderful, Leanne. Oh, you're so lucky. Oh, thanks, Sharon. It's only a couple of weeks, but... Well, congratulations, Leanne. I'm thrilled for you. What? Well, you are? Really? Well, of course. Well, I'm really pleased about... Well... We're both pleased about it. All we mind is my dad flaming and announcing it. <laughs> Oi, lads. You just couldn't keep it to yourselves, could you? Hey, I just can't believe you did it. What? We celebrated the news of our first grandchild. We told you we didn't want anyone to know yet. Have a look, lad. Janice was over the moon. So obviously she wanted to tell a few people. A few? You told everyone in the Rovers. We only told a few. And naturally, they must have gone and told a few more. You know how it happens. Yeah, Les, I know exactly. It's why we didn't want anyone to know yet. But, oh, no, you had to have your moment of glory, didn't you? No matter how it makes us feel. Hey, hey, what's going on here? You stirring it again? There's nothing wrong with me, Florence. I'm as happy as a rat in a vat, I am. Yeah, but what about me and Leanne, Les? Why don't you give a damn how we feel? Oh, cool it, Nick. You're talking to a caveman. Come to the rovers with me. So I'll stop off and get a video on the way back if you want. Oh, yeah, and get some toffee popcorn as well. I really fancy that. Mm. Anything else you fancy? Yeah, uh, just you, so get yourself back here as soon as you can. Mm. I'll see you later, Rita. See you later. Bye, love. Oh, dear. So, is everything OK with you, Nick? Yeah, fine, why? Oh, I don't know. Just thought you seemed a little quiet recently. I wonder whether Leanne was having a go at you again. No, we were getting on great. Mm -hmm. We are, honestly. Now, I wonder why it is that I don't quite believe you. Uh, well, uh, I might as well tell you. Um, she's found out she's pregnant. Pregnant? Yeah, so, you know, we've had lots to get our heads around. Yes, I should think you've been worried sick. What are you going to do? Take it one step at a time, I suppose. What else can we do? But how do you feel about it, Nick? I mean, it wasn't planned, surely, was it? No, but, I mean... So? <laughs> well, yeah, I was dead scared to start with, but... But we're really into it now, we want it. Both of you? Or just Leanne? Both of us. You really think you're ready for the responsibility? We know it's going to mean some changes. Some changes? It's going to turn your whole life upside down. There's plenty of time later on for you to be playing Happy Families. I don't really feel all that sick yet. A little bit queasy, maybe, but not, you know, like different to normal. If anything, I just feel more hungry. Oh, well, that's good, isn't it? I mean, you're eating for two now. Yeah. I hope it enjoyed its cornflakes. <laughs> D do you get, like, cravings yet? I mean, you're not going to start eating weird stuff for a while, are you? Of course not. <laughs> Tripe and jam all right for tea, is it? You are. With pickled eggs and custard for afters. Mm. I'm joking. <laughs> well, you don't know, do you? Lee, uh, I don't know the first thing about pregnancy or babies. I, I don't know what to expect. Well, me getting fat to start with. Will you still fancy me when I look like I've swallowed a beer barrel? Lee, I'm being serious. I don't know anything about all this. Nick, it's my first time and I'll remember, and it's me who's carrying the extra load. Yeah, I suppose you're right. 
We will be okay, won't we? Yeah, of course we will. We'll be great parents. And she is my long lost missus. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Oh. What's your number? What's he on the back? Yeah, let's have a cup of tea then, eh? Come on. Have you been good? See you then. Oh. Hi. Hi. Oh. What's been going on? I've been away. Oh, what's been going on? Well, just the usual, really. I bet things have been a bit more exciting in Canada. Yes, but it's good to be home. Got me oh, a cushion cat. Let's see. What's in here, eh? Oh, look at oh, these frezzies. Oh, look at these. Let's go and play with them upstairs. Oh, there's no need to. Come on, let's go and play with them. Hey, look at them. Oh, look at them. Oh, look at them. Oh, look at them. What's up? Oh, they're all right. Nothing. No, nothing. Everything's fine, Gail. It, it, it's good news, really. We're expecting a baby. You're pregnant. Yeah. It's great, isn't it? Well, it wasn't planned, was it? Well, is that important? This is our baby. We're going to be a mum and dad. You're angry, aren't you? Angry? I don't know what to think. Well, I, I know it's a shock. I mean, imagine how I felt at first. Yeah, and me. I mean, I was scared stiff, but, well, Nick says it's going to be all right, don't you? Oh, does he? Good. Any idea what you're talking about, Nick? This is a baby you're having. Not a new TV on HP. Mum, I'm not stupid. Please, this is your grandchild. Can't you just be happy for us? Have you thought about it? Have you thought what it'll mean to you? You're nothing but kids yourself. Oh, how did I know that one were coming? Because it's true. For goodness sake, Leanne, didn't you take precautions? Oh, I see. So it's my fault, is it? Well, didn't you? Didn't either of you? It's none of your business, Mum. Look, Mom. we're pleased about this baby, and if you don't like that, then that's just tough. Janice and my dad were chuffed to bits. So that's what Les Battersby was on about. Yeah. So at least this baby will have one set of grandparents that care. I care. That's why I'm saying think about what you're doing. A baby's a wonderful thing. It makes you realise what life's all about. Only if the time's right. If it's not... I've had enough of this. I'm not listening to any more of it. I just thought for once in your life that you could be happy for us. But I should have known better, shouldn't I? You'll always be a miserable cow. Nick! I knew it'd be a disaster. She couldn't be happy for us, couldn't even pretend. Yeah, well, we had to tell her, didn't we? I mean, imagine if she'd heard of somebody else first. She always has to ruin everything. Uh, Lee, come on, you know that's not true. Oh, that's it. Mummy's boy, aren't you? Side with her. That's enough, Leanne. Now, I know you're upset, but I think she is too. Yeah, well, she can go and get stuff for all I care. This is our baby, and it's nothing to do with her. She'll come round. It was a shock, wasn't it? And she's still probably got jet lag after the flight. Oh, face it, Nick. I was never good enough for you as far as she was concerned. I'm just a stinking Battersby, aren't I? Morning. Hi. Right. Sleep all right? Oh, sorry, mate, what did you say? Well, I just wondered were you being cheesed off last night with Gail? Yeah, I slept fine. Feel better, don't you, when you sleep on a problem? Are you all right? Yeah. <laughs> Actually, there was something that I wanted to say. It's about the baby. Do you know what really winds me up more than our else? Lee, don't start up again, please. No, but it's true. I woke up cross with myself this morning for even worrying about it. Like with some eight-year-olds who need her permission. She'll come round. We were freaked at first, too, remember? A big deal. So we can't enjoy ourselves till she gives us the all clear. No, but it's a lot easier with your parents' support, isn't it? Yeah, well, mine are supporting us. It's just yours that aren't. We let her spoil it. We go there all nervous, expecting trouble. We should just stick up for ourselves more. They say if you act like a victim, you get treated like one. Who asked you? Just saying. He's only agreeing with you, Leanne. 
Yeah, sorry, Ashley. It's just a lot of buddies sticking their arms in lately. Uh, so, anyway, what were you saying before Lee came in? Uh, something about the baby? Oh, that, but... I was just wondering, like, if, if you thought what call it. <laughs> Ash, mate, we're still trying to get our heads around it happening. All right. Don't worry. We'll let you know as soon as we decide. Hey, might even sound you out on it. After all, you're going to be seeing a lot of this, baby. Don't worry. I've not come to read the writer. Uh, can I get you anything? No, thanks. Can't stop. Got to get back to work. I just wanted a quiet word on his own. Now I've had time to digest it. Look, Mum, we're having the baby, so if you think you can get around me just because Leanne's not here... Nick, please. I'm not the wicked witch come for a slanging match. You're 18. You can do what you like. I'm still your mother. I still care what happens to you. So just so I know, was it planned? No, but, but we do want it. Where will you live when it's born? Here. How will you pay for it? We're still thinking that through. Babies cost money, you know. You're a student. Leanne doesn't earn much. We'll find a way. Nappies can set you back ten quid a week. Yeah, well, they don't stay in nappies forever. No, they don't. They start growing. Then they need new clothes every few months. Not to mention toys and computers, driving lessons, help with university. Come on, Mum, that's years away. And it's years we're talking about, Nick. You're not buying a car you can trade in when you get fed up of it, you know. You're going to be responsible for the next 16 years, maybe more. You're going to be my age before you're completely free. Have you thought about that? Listen, I I've been thinking. Um, when I finish at college, I don't have to go straight to university. I mean, I if I get my grades in that, then I could take a year out. Loads of people do it. And, and then when I do start, the baby could go to the crash. If there is one. Well, I think they all have them. So, what will you do in this year out, then? I don't know. Uh, stay at home with the baby. You know, if you wanted to carry on working at the cabin. Yeah, providing Rita keeps my job open. Well, if she doesn't, then then you could stay at home and I could get a job, or, or we could both do part-time. Look, I'm, I'm just saying that either way, it's not going to be a problem. And is that what you want? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'd love that. For us to be together as much as possible, the three of us. Oh, hiya. Morning. All right, we were just talking about after the baby's born. Oh. Look, I, I know it's a bit boring for you, but don't worry, we're not going to ask you to babysit all the time. Yeah, and when we do, we won't stop out all night, will we? <laughs> hey, you could be a godfather, couldn't he? Yeah, that's a brilliant idea. Hey, this is a country drink alcohol. It'll save me a few quid. Thank you, never mind your money. It's the baby's health that matters. I know. Hey, did you ask about flying in case we go back to Canada? Well, no, but I expect it's in here somewhere. <laughs> Is that what it looks like? Size of a bean, yeah. Oh, all right, mate. Uh, can, can I get you one? Oh, it's all right. Oh, come on, what are you having? Honest. I just wanted a word. I've been talking to my uncle for his bad news, I'm afraid. What about? You can't have baby. Then. In the house, I mean. Well, all right, then. We'll have it in the garden, in the shed. <laughs> Yeah, or in the kennel. I'm not joking. He's got a thing about babies in his house, so what can I do? Anyway, there it is. We'll have to find somewhere else. Please, let me get you both a drink. No, thanks. We're not thirsty. Well, it's not my fault. It was Uncle Fred's. And he wants us out as soon as possible. I'm afraid so. Just because Leanne's given birth in seven months. To give you plenty of time to find somewhere else. Right, yeah, not because there's one people to see how insensitive he is. It's not like that. Oh, come on, Ashley. You're our mate. Can't you get around him somehow? 